What's up everybody, welcome to We Do Tech. So one of my friends got himself a new Dell U3417W, a 34 inch ultra wide monitor. And he was kind enough to let me play around for it for a few days. But please go check out his YouTube channel, he does awesome AMV videos. So if you like anime, go check out his channel. Okay, but before I start, I just want to let you guys know that my camera did struggle a little bit to pick up everything. Uh, like the backlight bleed, it didn't really pick up that much, but you can see it in real life. So please just keep that in mind. But anyway, let's start with the review. The U3417W is a 34 inch curved ultra wide with a max resolution of 3440 by 1440p at 60 hertz. It has an IPS panel that delivers incredible colors with a 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, 8 to 5 milliseconds response time, and 99% sRGB coverage. Well, now that most of the technical specs is out of the way, let's see what the user actually gets. Well, you get a massive screen with a lot of productivity space, great color, and just an all-around good gaming experience. Now, for gaming, it's not the fastest monitor out there. It does have an 8 millisecond response time, but can go down to 5 milliseconds in gaming mode. And it does have some input lag as well. But that didn't really hinder my gaming experience that much. I really enjoyed playing FPS games like CSGO and Doom. And it was amazing on games like The Witcher 3 running at 3440 by 1440p resolution. It was so clear and the colors was just amazing. But now where the U34 really shines is in the productivity it delivers. Because the screen is so big, editing videos was a dream. You don't need to move stuff around or minimize windows to make space, you already have so much. But it doesn't end there. Because the colors are so sharp with the 99% sRGB coverage, you always get excellent colors. And even watching movies and videos is great on the U34. You do get the black bars on the sides because not a lot of videos is shot for 21 by 9 aspect ratio. But a lot of movies do scale to 21 by 9 and they just look amazing on the screen. The enhanced quality is also somewhat due to the curve of the screen. The curvature improves your field of view by reducing reflection and creating near uniform visual focus. All of this really makes the U3417W a jack of all trades, being perfect for video editors, photographers and even for gamers. But now unfortunately you do get some backlight bleed from the corners, but I didn't find that too big of an issue. For the price and the size of the monitor, the backlight bleed was fine. But luckily it does make up for it with uh, anti-glare coating, so you won't get that irritating light glare from a window or a light. The bezels of the U34 is also relatively thin, taking account for the size of the entire monitor. But the monitor itself is not really that thin. But that's really not a problem for me because it's a screen that goes on your desk, not a picture frame. And then to access the screen menu, all you have to do is press one of the buttons in the bottom right corner. The first is to change your preset mode, while the second option is to adjust the volume of the built-in speakers. And then the third option is to access all the screen settings. Most of the settings is standard like your brightness, contrast and color adjustments, but the ones which is actually a bit different is the personalized tab which allows you to configure the first two buttons on the screen to a few different commands. The next is the USB hub which you can configure that each of the two USB 3.0 type B ports works on a certain display input. So port 1 works on display port and port 2 works on HDMI. And then the last cool feature is the screen split. You are able to connect two computers to the U34 and then split the monitor between them. So one monitor, two computers. This is a very handy feature if your desk is too small for multiple monitors or you just want to keep your desk nice and clean. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my two PCs to work on the one monitor correctly. It kept trying to push the full 21 by 9 aspect ratio to 4 by 3. Now, I'm not sure why it kept doing this on my PCs, but I know it worked because we have tested it on my friend's setup and it works fine there. But you are able to split the screen up on one system, which makes it a lot easier to have multiple monitors open at a single time. And then you also get dual 9 watt downward facing speakers that delivers a relatively good sound. It's not as great as dedicated speakers of course, but for the entire time I had the monitor, I just used the internal speakers and that was good enough for me. And now for I.O. you do get some variety to choose from. 
you get a full DisplayPort 1.2, Mini DisplayPort 1.2, and then you also get a full DisplayPort 1.2 with MST, which allows you to daisy chain multiple monitors to each other. But then you also get two HDMI 2.0 ports, four USB 3.0 ports, which two is at the back and two is on the side, and then two USB 3.0 Type B ports that let you connect two computers to it and split up the USB hub between the two. So you are able to connect your mouse and the keyboard to the screen and then just use the pair for both devices. The four USBs are also super speed, so you can charge your devices through it at two amps. And then lastly, you get your 3.5mm jack and your power connector. Now, for such a big monitor, you are going to need a nice big sturdy stand. And that's what you get. The U34 stand clicks into the back with no needed screws and is VESA mount compatible for other monitor stands. The base is quite large, but it is nice and flat to prevent your monitor from wobbling around. You are able to swivel the screen left or right and tilt the screen up or down. But unfortunately you're not able to pivot the screen. The stand is also able to adjust up or down by 115 millimeters, which gives you a lot of height to play with. Then if you were wondering why there is a hole in the stand, well that's for your cable management. You're able to put your cables through the hole and then just keep it nice and clear and trust me it is very handy. So that's pretty much it for the Dell U3417W. Now for about $800 or 12,000 Rand, the U3417W is not cheap, but I would definitely say it's worth the price. You really get an all-in-one monitor that's good for gaming and productivity. It doesn't take up a lot of space on your desk and it's just really nice to look at. And I have to say, I really think I found my dream setup now, with an awesome ultra wide like this in the middle between the two other monitors and the TV above it. And that was it for my review of the Dell U3417W. Big thanks again to my friend for letting me the monitor do to do this review. Um, please go check out his YouTube channel. Like I said, he does awesome AMV videos. I'll link everything in the description below. Also, if you like the the video please like share subscribe and comment like always uh, also if you do have a request for a different review let me know what it is down in the comments below and i'll try to get my hands on the product to do the review but anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next time cheers guys